ago, kids were asked to draw a scientist. Less than 1% of nearly 5,000 drawings were women. Now, young kids are painting women scientists as much as men. But when teenagers are given a blank canvas, the paintings of women scientists are outnumbered four to one. Growing up, we learn about careers two major ways, through our friends, our family, and when we're out and about in the community, and through media. It can be heartbreaking when we don't see young girls and women represented in science and engineering. 21 years old is when I joined a construction crew. I had a chance to help so many amazing people, and I've had an opportunity to do so many great things. I've built uh, homes and renovated for people who don't have a place to live. I get to do one of the coolest jobs in the world, which is flying the different robotic systems on the International Space Station. When I was in high school, I fell in love with physics. I was an athlete and I loved thinking about the physics of sport. So I decided to go into medical school and later specialized in working with people with disabilities. When I was four years old, my mother took me to the zoo. That's where I saw my first giraffe. My greatest achievement was studying wild giraffe behavior in Africa. It's been an incredible career, exploring caves inside Antarctic icebergs, inside volcanoes in the Canary Islands, and even underneath the Sahara Desert. It's amazing to know that my work has been validated to this level, and that I'm able to share fascinating ideas in science with other people, especially people who didn't quite believe that they could understand quantum mechanics. When I was 13, I knew I wanted to be a scientist. Science empowers you to ask questions and to find solutions. I'm Mona Nimmer, and I'm the Chief Scientist of Canada. It's great for me to see women scientists because it gives me the courage to pursue the fields I want to. I might be a rocket scientist. In my future, I think I'm going to be a space scientist, and I can't wait for it. When girls see women scientists and engineers, they see their future. They see their potential. This is what a scientist looks like. <laughs>